Hey, I thought I'd read one more today. There's just so many coming in and um, yeah, I just know you guys love success stories, especially specific person ones. So here's one today from Jay. It all started on the 17th of December 2018 when I met, no, it, we haven't had December 2018 yet, so it must be 2017 that you mean, when I met my specific person and that day changed my life. This story is fairly long, so I'm going to ask you all to buckle up. I always knew my specific person because he is a photographer at my school and an ex-student of the school. We ran into each other in October 2017, I'm assuming that means, but none of us noticed each other. It was a four-day event and my school was hosting it. I was an active participant of the event and I thanked my specific person for clicking wonderful pictures and cover the whole event fabulously. He gave me his business card and smiled at me and even asked me to call him if I ever needed a photo shoot. Months passed by and we both never heard from each other, but I guess destiny does exist. We're both in Canada and we moved here. I was going home during the 17th of December 2018. Okay, so you said 2018 again, so I'm assuming it's 2017. And he happened to be in the same flight. Not only did we have the same flight, but our connecting flights were also the same. He came and sat behind me and I was kind of freaked out, but I was too lazy to make conversation as it was 3 a.m. and I just had got done with finals the night before. We saw each other, however, none of us cared to talk. I was going to work for another event at school post the winter break, so I decided to break the ice and ask him if he had already been contacted by my school in which he said nope but he would love to we exchanged email ideas and I thought that it, that was it until I was ready to get on to the next plane there he was waiting for me at the airport we had four hours to kill so we spoke made jo jokes and bullied each other I never thought I'd ever fall in love with him and I also showed him funny videos at the cost of embarrassing myself we both laughed and before we knew it four hours was over and we had we had to get on our flights, but we weren't seated together or even in close proximity to each other. We wanted to exchange seats, but unfortunately, both of us sat behind beside family, so it was uncertain. I let go and slept instead, and so did he. We arrived and said goodbyes to each other that very night. I couldn't sleep because I was jet lagged, and I thought, why not add him on Facebook? Because sending business emails would be boring and require too much effort. I added him and he, con and he instantly accepted. I sent him the brochure and the quotation and thought that we would end the conversation there. Little did I know that we would end up talking the entire night and the whole holidays. We were in different cities, but we knew we would be together once the holiday was over and we'd fly back to Canada. We laughed, enjoyed each other's company, and I didn't even know I was in love. The holiday was over and long story cut short, we met the day he landed in Canada. We spoke and had a great time. We spent seven hours talking and bullying each other, but a part of me anticipated that this was not going to work out. I am a confident person and I am naturally good looking. I work out and take care of myself, but I had never had a fairy tale kind of romance before. I never even been in love before. I just think negatively about relationships and thought maybe this was temporary. I assumed once we met that he would like me less and act weirdly and that is exactly what happened. I then started acting insecure, needy, clingy, desperate and as a result I sent him needy vibes and even then he was generous enough but I got so ugly that I threatened to leave him and then I eventually did. I was so heartbroken and decided <clears throat> to get over it but something didn't feel right. I knew he was my first true love and the only guy I wanted to marry. I always knew we would find a way back to each other, but I was not sure how. I ran into him three days later at the gym and he was happy to see me. We texted again and became close, but I started having negative thoughts and that again pushed him away. On one night, <clears throat> it got so bad that I sent him a text accusing him and blaming him for everything and he eventually blocked me. I decided I was done for good <clears throat> and after spending two weeks in bed, I decided I needed to change things. I couldn't eat, sleep, meet with friends or even hit the gym. I was depressed. And I decided to cut all ties with him. And then I discovered, and yes, I was more happy than ever. And yes, you're truly an angel. And what can I say? Thank you. I checked out other channels as well, but they didn't seem to be specific about the law of attraction. I read a lot of Neville Goddard's work and even read Abraham Hicks. I watched all of Agnes's videos and decided it was time I get back on track. Started working out, eating healthy, meeting with my friends. I would start the day with self-love, whispering technique, and at night I would just send unconditional love to Jay. 
But two months had passed and I had decided I should text him, but in my head I knew he would not reply and this is what happened. I decided I still wasn't ready and continued. My affirmations and the whispering technique, two more months had passed by and I was done with another semester. I was at a party and I had two more days before I left Canada and went traveling again. I knew in my heart I knew I would see him or hear from him before leaving, but I didn't want to contact him first. Well, I saw him at the party and he said hi. I decided to go home because I had to pack and I felt sick. I told him I was leaving. He offered me a ride and then he took me home. I was actually feeling sick and he gave me medicine and covered me up under a blanket. He bid me goodbye and asked me to call him in the morning. I called him the next morning and he wanted to meet up before I left. We had talked about things but I didn't want to talk about the past because I knew it was me pushing him out and his behavior was only a reflection of my self-doubt and negativity. We met and things went smooth. We are just friends but I know we are meant to be and someday we will be together because I know this is love and this will last forever. In the meantime, I'm trying to correct myself and practice my med medications I think you mean meditations I know that this is not a typical success story but we are almost there I don't need him to be my boyfriend or give us a tag because I make myself happy and I need myself more than anyone or anything I can manifest a relationship but currently I'm just enjoying us being friends and taking it slow let's see what the future holds thanks and yes lots of love to you for all of those that are listening to this trust me you can do it too just believe in yourself it takes time but with the right amount of patience, dedication and effort, you will get there. The universe hears us all. And as Abraham and Anya says, we are our own creators. Beautiful. Okay. So. S. My question to you, since this was May 2018. Where are you at now? let us know and I will hear from you and then we will put the to be continued I will pin it at the top if you or you can pin it at the top and let people know where you're up to from May till July May June July two months since then all right lots of love I'll put the how to get an expat specific person playlist down below and I think I need a cup of tea now. <laughs>